36 months into my journey, here are my biggest lessons I've learned about creating video for your business goal. Learn from my mistakes to save yourself time and frustration. Number one, you can, period. You can do this. It's not rocket science. It's not brain surgery. Don't get ahead of yourself. You don't have to have super complicated editing software and all kinds of crazy amounts of you know, gear that you're going to use. You can still achieve your goals for your business and invest in it over time, kind of up your game as you're ready, but start out with what you have available. But understand that you can do it. That's the key. Because, number two, you have to commit long term. It's an 18 month commitment at least. You're using content marketing via video to grow an audience. This is a business asset. This is just awesome for your business because you control the conversation. You're the one that owns this relationship with your audience. Number three, the third lesson was speed trumps everything when it comes to creating media. So if you're doing content marketing, you're you're writing, you're you know, creating audio, you're doing video, whatever. It's an extremely important that you understand that speed is what is going to help you win or lose. And that leads right into number four, which is quality is subjective. We've all heard that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That holds true. It comes down to video, audio, write, written, whatever, the person consuming it, their perception is going to be whether it's quality or not. You can't control that. Well, you can only thing you can do is speak to your ideal audience and be 100% yourself. So, number five, we start into tools, which is the first thing is number five is lighting. Don't don't ever complicate this like this guy did. <laughs> you know, the big things are video wise, visually. You need to make sure that when you're recording someone that try and make sure number one that they're visible like their facial features they we want people to be comfortable that it's just like standing in front of them talking face to face they're able to look them in the eye and make sure that their facial features that their you know, the subject of the video is visible number six is audio which is you know the other half of the video thing right so as far as audio, just make sure that they can be heard. You can bring in sound engineers, you can you know, find royalty free music to add in and to build you know, kind of the suspense or you know, set the mood basically. That's all awesome. However, at the end of the day, don't let any of that get in the way of the message. It should always accentuate the message. And the biggest key to the message audio wise is that it's heard. Number seven is Use the best available microphone and or camera for each shot. I stole this from Casey Neistat. He has a crazy amounts of options you know, every time he goes to do any shoot. And he simplified everything for himself by just saying, hey, look, every time use the best available, period. And it simplified it for me. Right now, a smartphone, that's the best available. I have a little $35 lavalier mic, best available. I'm smart about it, but at the same time, in the future, I'll invest in it. Maybe, you know, upgrade the camera, upgrade the audio, but don't, not to start out. Get everything going. Start building your audience before you start worrying about, you know, investing in your equipment and all. All right, so number eight, be true to yourself. This is the first part of the message. And this is the first lesson. This is the, literally the first words I say to everybody that I do video with. Be yourself, period. You have to be true to yourself and you have to, number nine is you have to speak to your ideal audience person. You're not trying to be everything to everybody. You want to be everything to one person and that's your ideal audience member. The biggest thing is understand who you're talking to. And you know that allows you some creative freedom. You just wanna be smart about it. Be true to yourself, be yourself, authentic words and all, because you're gonna repel some and you're gonna draw your ideal audience person closer to you because they're gonna be able to relate. Number 10, set 
a schedule and stick to it and then repeat that and then repeat that and then repeat that. Oh man, this is a hard one. <laughs> this is a lesson that I still to this day am trying to get my stuff going right with. Look at my YouTube channel. I have like 13 followers. Uh, my email list at jasonobsllc.com forward slash rainmakers. I think I'm like 17 on that list. Something like that. Real, real, real small numbers. And I'm you know, 12 years in. So you know, if you want to learn from anything, learn from my biggest mistake and set a schedule. Number 11 is every time that someone engages with you, return the engagement. It's a two-way conversation. For a long time, the first six to nine, 12 months, depending, <laughs> you're gonna hear largely crickets, even as you consistently build up your archive of videos. Don't worry, do not despair, because this happens to all of us. And it's still happening to me, and I'm 12 years in. But you do wanna engage, you wanna make sure that you're listening to your audience. Two ears, one mouth. So you know, put that into practice. Listen more than you talk. And understand, you're going to be talking at your audience. <laughs> you know, It's guaranteed that they're going to want to hear you talk. But make sure that you're making a conscious effort to listen to them. It, especially because you're doing these videos towards your business goals. So it would just make sense to listen so that you can get better, more on message, so to speak, to your ideal audience each video that you put out. All right, so now we're at number 12. Okay, this is kind of a no-brainer, but I like to be clear with everybody up front. And this is a lesson that I've learned you know, to be clear with people. This is a for-profit business, period. You're uniting an audience towards your marketing goals. That's always going to be them paying you at some point and hopefully repeatedly over time. What you're doing is you're providing so much more value and they're paying you back in money and you know your business entity is singular and there are going to be dozens and then hundreds and then thousands and then tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands of members of your audience. Okay, and number 13, it, I want to be real clear, a big lesson that I learned is where your audience, your actual audience resides. It resides on your email list through your website. So, YouTube channel, Facebook page, definitely do them. In the future, you're going to want to run Facebook ads. You're going to want to be on LinkedIn. You're going to want to expand your net, so to speak, over time. But you don't want to get all that attention without being able to keep the attention and that happens through your email list. You control that. No one's going to deny you access or you know, charge, make you pay more or something to get access to them like Facebook could, like YouTube could, etc. The way that I focus, I'm focusing on mine is I'm building my YouTube channel first. Facebook I'm gonna build with live video here in a few months when I'm ready. So, but first and foremost, YouTube, Facebook, both of them serve one purpose. Get them back to jasonhobbsllc.com forward slash rainmakers and have them sign up for my email list. And when they do, now we're actually having a conversation. And here's another tip that I picked up. This is a freebie too. When you send emails, make sure that when they reply, they're able to be re answered. Like, don't put a no reply email when it's from you to your customers. And the other thing is, I'd love for you to sign up. Go to jasonobsllc.com forward slash rainmakers and fill out the form. There's a video there introducing me, etc. But you know, fill out the form below the video. Make sure that you click the confirmation link that's going to be emailed to you. And then once you click the confirmation link, you'll be on my email list. And once a week, you'll get my exclusive to my audience. With content marketing, that's where my business is built from, is the audience. So, and it's that email audience specifically. The other Facebook, YouTube, those, LinkedIn, those are all to bring people back to my website, to get them onto my list. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, Jason at jasonobsllc.com. I would love to chat. Have a great one.